Hey everyone, it's Andrew. Welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be a video doing an unboxing, assembly, and review of this Senkoi floor lamp. Um, there's going to be a link in the description below for where you can find this on Amazon, but I will read off the specific listing on Amazon if you want to search for it. Bear with me because it's pretty complicated, but it says 65 inch high farmhouse rustic country cottage floor lamp tree trunk faux wood column whitewashed wicker drum shade decor for living room bedroom reading room regardless there's a link below but that's a very complex name i don't know how i'm going to label this for this video um, but this floor lamp is going to be this wood kind of design on the, the the base of it and then there's going to be two drum shades that are going to be like this interwoven kind of like basket weave pattern uh, this one is specifically the white model but they do have i believe a black model as well as a brown model so check out the website you can look at the color patterns, but this is going to be the white. Um, so what we'll do in this video is we'll just kind of take a look at the box real quick. Um, there's not much on the box. It just lists some dimensions and kind of things like that on the side. So it says 65 inch height tree trunk floor lamp. It says six inch by six inch um, wicker dram shade, whitewash faux wood finish. It uses two pieces of six watt LED bulbs and then it's one packaging. Um, that's really it on the box. It shows the diagram on the front. Beyond that, that's really it. Um, what we'll do real quick is we'll get this open and take a look. Okay, so the box itself, um, it's taped on one side. We'll just take some scissors and open this and kind of see what's actually in the box. I don't think this assembly will be too complicated, um, but it has instructions here. Um, shows that there's the lamp body, uh, socket assembly, shade, socket ring, uh, and then basically lamp body throughout and then the base. Um, kind of basically says unpack everything as far as assembly and then kind of put it together. There's not much there as far as um, details. Um, nothing on the back. Uh, we'll just open this up and see what's inside of the actual box. Um, it actually looks like it, you actually have to slide this out, so bear with me for a second because this might be hard on camera. Um, so that's empty as far as the rest of the box. Um, we'll just cut this open. Okay, so here's what you have in here, this packaging. So you're gonna have the lampshade um, is one thing. You're gonna have another lampshade, okay? A um, bunch of styrofoam pieces. You're gonna have the actual lamp pieces, um, which are very similar to traditional lamps where there's gonna be a power cord throughout it. And bear with me, because I think it's stuck a little bit because the base is underneath it. Um, there's going to be two pieces here, which I think are the bulbs. We'll just, yeah, so there's two bulbs, one in this, which is nice because it does come with actual bulbs. So that's the bulbs. And then let me just find where the base is. I think I just have to, oops, sorry, flip this around. Yeah, so you just flip it around and the base is gonna be on the other side. So let me just cut this tape here. Sorry, this is like a mess and disorganized chaos as far as everything. Um, so that's that, and so the base is there. So that's everything in the box. So you're gonna have a bunch of pieces for the actual lamp itself. You're gonna have the lampshades and then the two, um, the, the two bulbs. What I'm gonna do is take apart all the plastic. We'll lay this out in front of you just so you can see what it all entails actually in the box. Okay, so here's everything in the box. This lamp should be straightforward to put together, but you're gonna have the base, you're gonna have a, a, a cord here with the foot pedal that actually turned the, the lamp on and off. And then basically the whole lamp is connected, and then there's gonna be two parts off of the lamp that are gonna have the lamp shades. Um, as far as assembly, it, it, for those of you that have done lamps before, this should be very straightforward. But what you wanna do is basically pull the power cord I'm um, sorry, and then there's the two lampshades and the two bulbs, but you're gonna pull the power cord um, through a little bit and then make sure that you have enough slack underneath here or pull it all the way through so that the base here is flush with the, um, the next piece. And this is like a sturdy metal, but you're just basically gonna do this throughout and basically just screw this on one by one for the entirety of the actual lamp and make sure it's snug. You're gonna do the same thing here. Just be very careful that you don't slam it or anything. And then very similarly, you're just gonna do that throughout. And so, bear with me, cause I'm gonna have to adjust the camera as we do this. But that's the first two, let me adjust the camera. So here's the next one. So 
the, the next one, and then I'll just real quick, the next one. Sorry, this is a pretty close up and tall. Um, but basically, you just pull the power cord all the way through, and very similarly, just screw it on. And then hopefully, you'll be able to see this last one. Give me one second. All the way up there. Sorry, it's like tilted all the way up. Not the best angle, but um, sorry. You do have to kind of maneuver this a little bit. Um, I have too much cable here, obviously, so you just pull the power cable through, which you can do at the bottom, so up there, and then you're just gonna screw this one all the way on, like the rest, all right? And so now the whole base is set for getting it together, you just gotta get it all the way tight. So that's tight, all right? Now I'll show you up uh, up close how to put on the two lampshades. Okay, so as far as the two lampshades, what you're gonna have is you're gonna have these two hooks on here. One, make sure they're hooked on to the actual ring um, because it might be not aligned appropriately. But here is gonna be an O-ring. You're just gonna loosen that all the way, all right? And then what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna take the lampshade, which is this right here, you're gonna just pop it in like that and then put the O-ring back on. This is very similar to other lamps if you've never done this before. A lot of lamps are designed this way. All right, so that's the one, all right? And then you're gonna do the same exact thing for the other one, so O-ring. Loosen that all the way. Take the basket, slide it on here, all right? And then you're gonna tighten it up, okay? And so that's it for assembly. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the bulbs. So they come with two bulbs. These are gonna be LED bulbs and you'll just screw them in to the base here, which is snug but not super tight because then you'll just break it. And very similarly, you're gonna do the exact same thing for the other one. And so that's everything as far as assembly. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide this over to next to my couch, plug it in, and then we'll show you what it looks like as far as lighting and then the features of the lighting and kind of a distance look of what the actual lamp looks like. Okay, so here's what the lamp looks like. Um, this is next to my couch. Um, so as you can tell, it's got this really cool design that has this wood, white wood, um, faux wood kind of look with the base being that same design. Um, and then you've got these um, kind of baskets as far as the location. Um, what I'll do real quick is there's, um, I will go over this, but it's hard to tell on camera, but there's gonna be a foot switch actually that turns this on and it's a, got a dimmer feature. Um, and so whenever you can just slide this, it's hard to tell on camera, but you can slide this on and off and do a dimmer using that. And so this is what it looks like with the lights on in this current room. So I really like this lamp. It kind of reminded me of like a honey, or not a Winnie the Pooh kind of look. Um, it's kind of cool. It's just reminiscent because I've read those books a lot growing up. Um, but that's the look. I, I like the look of the lamp. Um, and so that's what it looks like with the different features. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn the lights off in this room and you'll get a sense of what it looks like as far as illumination alone with no other lights. Okay, so um, okay, so this is what it looks like as far as the light being on um, completely full blast in this room. Um, with the dimmer switch, you can go all the way down to completely dark and then you can go back up all the way. Um, I got this as essentially a reading lamp for my couch next to it because I didn't really have a lamp in this area, so now I can read on the edge of the couch and read it easily that way. I really like the look of the lamp. It's really cool for 90 bucks. It was definitely worth it. I like the fact that it's got this basket pattern. It's just like unique and it's really different. So um, that's really it all I, ha all I have for this video. Hopefully the assembly was straightforward for you. If you have questions, comments, post them below. The white pattern looks really cool. I don't know about the other color patterns, um, but you can check them out. If you have questions, comments, you can post them below. And as always, if you're interested in purchasing this, there will be links below uh, for where you can find it on Amazon. And if you're interested in um, subscribing to my channel, definitely hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, hit the like button. But thanks for watching and hopefully this video was helpful for you.